This is Minister Paul, Watchman on the Wall. It's 8 1 2014, uh, 4 06 p.m. out here in Northern California, so it's time. So, <clears throat> I am going to sound this alarm as loud as I can that I'm a watchman called by God, and I see a sword coming, and according to Ezekiel 33, it says, Sound the alarm. And I've been doing this for some time. I have made several videos called Earthquakes and Outbreaks. And I'm going to walk you through well, what is beginning to happen right under our noses. The Bible says there'll be a great deception, a strong delusion. For, so let's not think for one minute that there won't be deception involved in this outbreak of pestilence worldwide so I live in America and this is today's story uh, LAX which is the Los Angeles uh, airport CDC sets up quarantine station at LAX as the Ebola viruses continue to spread overseas uh, let me just add one thing right here might as well throw this in here too I watch all of these things I watch for new executive orders I listened to part of the president's speech uh, this morning where he, he just all out said he's going to take executive action on the border situation with or without Congress, quote, another executive order. But this one that came out yesterday, it gives him permission to quarantine or in prison, rather, I, I don't know what the right word would be. Uh, people who, what he did was he updated this list in a nutshell. He updated this list from 2003 and he added uh, several things. Look at this executive order 1337. This is the one he amended to this 13295. And then if you if you go check out his amendment, you can kind of see what he added from, I'm just trying to help you guys, because they ain't going to tell you nothing. I'm telling you the truth, they're not going to tell you nothing. CDC ain't going to tell you nothing. Speaking of the CDC, I've been sounding an alarm on them since 2003. So, here's kind of an, uh, the original 2003 and then uh, this is what was on it and then you it was basically uh, emphasized on SARS all right so let me get off that um, I'll, I'll put a link to the executive order if you like I'll put a link to all this stuff um, what we also have happening is this unannounced quote surprise drill in New York today the uh, New York City conducts largest ever surprise bioterror response drill as we bring Ebola into Atlanta which is what the head where the headquarters of the CDC is and this is talking about how fast they can deliver antidotes into 30 different setup uh, tent areas and it's called ramp X um, CDC would have to be involved with that as would Homeland Security but they're not mentioned because I'm telling you something's going to go down we don't know when but we know how these drills have worked in the past so I'll put a link I'm going to put a link to everything and I really would hope that uh, people would wake up to what's occurring right in front of them and they're saying this is not related to Ebola this is a once a year drill if that's what you want to go and believe, you can go and believe that. And I'll put this second link, Massive Emergency Drill in New York City. And this has a little short video. Um, this just kind of posted out of nowhere. They did not announce this drill, even to the, the day or time, to the people who are going to be forming, uh, performing in it. Yeah, like actors, I guess. Um, they weren't given... They, they were called basically at dawn, this video said, and said to prepare. They didn't know. 
that it was going to be today. And neither did the city, by the way. Can you see all these uh, quarantine areas being set up and all these trucks bringing in? See, I know, man. I, I, I worked at an area, and so I know how their delivery system works, and it's scary. So I just want to show you this and one video in particular and just ask everybody to be in prayer over this for everybody involved as we continue to endure and contend for the faith. So on July 11th, I made a, we're talking about anthrax and smallpox. Let me get the, maybe if I make this smaller, it'll give me the title. CDC, and that was a war room dream. Um, don't forget the blood moon tetrad. This was when CDC, 75 people got exposed to anthrax. This is on June 19th, 2014. Remember MERS? Mer the MERS virus has hit the USA. Let's not forget these things. That was May 2nd. I'll make this bigger again because I want to go down to one. I have several call earthquakes, earthquakes and outbreaks. You know why? Because it's in Matthew 24. It has to happen. Killer mosquitoes have reached California. Um, that's May 2nd, 2014. This is the one where I was talking about those mosquitoes that I can't pronounce. And now they're like a big time story. This right here, the chikungunya. Um, I was talking all about this and how they were going to come here. And in this video, I even mentioned that the one thing I know is coming next is Ebola. And many will say, well, Ebola has always been here and this is just all overreaction uh, for you. Pestilence properly, Matthew 24 has begun worldwide. That was March 24th. Warning, FEMA, CDC, and this is the one I want to look at. There updates, earthquakes, and outbreaks, and fireballs. Warning, uh, credible info of worldwide disease and outbreaks. Tell everyone it's coming, part one. That was February 21st. So you can continue, and I could go back, and I could go back. This is 2013, Region 3, remember all that? CDC to assist FEMA in beheading. That was in March 2013 also. Um, schools. I mean, I just share everything. Disruption in communications. Disruption in communications and transportation. I've said that three times. Uh, now, this will be the third time I've said that this month, expect it. That's why you see planes just falling out of the sky for apparently no reason. Because the communications are being messed up with by something that I'm not sure of. <clears throat> but I want to go back to this one and then just close out and put a link. Are, are you want to believe in what the Word of God says that keeps coming true and someone that's studying it, reading it, and sharing with you every day? Or do you want to believe what the government tells you? You're going to have to make a choice. I'm telling you, you're going to have to make a choice right now. Okay, warning. FEMA, CDC, and U.S. military has plans to imprison us. This was March 16. That's 3-16, 2014. And I'm going to open this. I'll put links to all this. Praise guys. the Lord. Hallelujah. I just feel led. Look, Lebanon right there. This is how my videos go. Uh, keep us, look at this. 773. Um, I'm just going to have to watch what this is and see. I mean, I, I have like, I don't know, something like uh, over 1,100 videos. I just put the information out and pray and press on. Put a link to all this stuff. God bless you all. Have a wonderful weekend. My father is doing fine. It is well with my soul. I thank you all for the prayers. We love you and may God richly bless you. And don't fall into fear.